Happy Sleep Tip Tuesday. Hope you're all doing well and having a great week so far. I today want to talk about something called metabolic chaos that you probably haven't heard about, so I'm going to tell you about it. But first of all, I want to ask you some questions. Do you have trouble sleeping? Probably if you're in this group, you do. Are you tired all the time? Do you feel older than you are? All of these things are really common. Many people feel them, but that doesn't mean it's normal or ideal. And so if these things are happening, then something isn't right in the body. And that is pretty much what metabolic chaos means. It means that different systems in your body are breaking down and pretty much your health is compromised. And this happens when you're under more stress than your body can handle. And so over time, things start to deteriorate. Now there are three kinds of stress that contribute to metabolic chaos. The first is mental stress, which you're probably well aware of from worry, fear, even emotional trauma. The second is physical or biomechanical stress. So this is due to injuries, physical trauma, accidents, or even overexercise can cause this. And then there is chemical or functional stress. And these are things that are inside your body. So things like pathogens in your gut, toxins, unhealthy foods, drugs and medications, even sleep deprivation causes this kind of functional stress. So some of these stressors are obvious. So we know about the mental ones and even the, the surface physical ones like um, getting injured, for example, or the mental thing of worrying about finances or having to take care of a sick family member. But many of these stressors are hidden because you can't see them. You don't even know that they're there. So even though you know they're bad for you, you can't directly see what eating fried food, for example, or taking ibuprofen all the time, or having a parasite does to your body over time. If you can't sleep, you are in metabolic chaos. Your body is breaking down. And if you don't figure out why and fix it, you're going to keep getting worse. And the only way to find out what's causing these stressors in your body is to do these lab tests that find the root of the problem. So by looking at things like your gut, how well you're digesting food, um, your liver, your mineral balance, your hormones, all of those will uncover your hidden stressors. And these are the kind of tests that I do to find these things. And then we know what to fix so that you can sleep like a normal person, like you should. Now, when you're young and healthy, your body can handle stress. But at some point, you may start noticing some common and annoying symptoms, or you get addicted to caffeine and then you need it to wake up in the morning, or you have minor aches and pains. So if you don't address those stressors, especially the hidden ones, over time they're going to cascade into other areas of your body, causing more symptoms and eventually disease. So eventually, like I said, different systems of your body are gonna to start to break down. Now what breaks down first is determined by your body's metabolism and genetic weak links. So I wanna show you a chart here to kind of, to illustrate this metabolic chaos. Oh, I don't know if I can, let's see. I'll have to post it in the group afterwards. But the idea is that in the center of this chart is metabolic chaos. And then there are all these pointers with other circles going around that. And each of those other circles represents a different function of the body. So there is um, glucose metabolism, for example, that controls your blood sugar. There's your endocrine system, that's your hormones. Um, there is your digestion, and then there's also neural health tissue, and this is what's going to affect your sleep. So since most of you are dealing with insomnia, what's deteriorating first for you is that neural health tissue. You may have other things going on too, 
Um, but one of those is definitely going to be those nerves. So whether you have a hard time falling asleep or you wake up in the night and can't go back to sleep. Um, many people with sleep issues, as you may know, also experience anxiety or depression and other mood issues. You might even have brain fog and memory problems too. So those are all signs of this neural health tissue breaking down. Now for other people, different parts of the body start to break down first. So it could be carbohydrate metabolism, like I mentioned, that stops working correctly. And when this happens, you can still eat healthy and avoid sugar and still have blood sugar issues. Or say your hormone system starts to give out first. That's when you can face menstrual issues, adrenal fatigue, or hypothyroid symptoms. So, and the thing is, is that once one system starts to break down on a circle out here it then goes back and causes even more metabolic chaos and then it spreads to another system causes more metabolic chaos and then it spreads to another system so this is why i guess the sicker you get kind of the more symptoms you start getting the more um, the more things start happening to you and some people who i work with with insomnia that's their only issue and other people have a lot more going on. They also have anxiety, they have unexplained weight gain, they have thyroid issues, they have autoimmune diseases. So it just depends on kind of how long your body has been struggling and not been able to deal with all the stress that it is under. And treating symptoms is only going to contribute to more of that metabolic chaos in the middle. Um, the more you try and deal with your symptoms with over-the-counter or prescription drugs, the more out of balance your body's going to get because it has to detoxify those drugs and deal with the side effects of those. So it's just really making things worse in the long term. So what do you do about this? I'm sure you want to know. So dealing with stress is the key. So managing the stressors you're aware of is the first step. So whatever kind of emotional or you know busy life stress you have going on or past trauma it's definitely important to address those and then uncovering those hidden stressors is the second step and that's where the functional lab testing that i that i do that's what that allows us to do so we can look at the gut your liver your mineral balance your hormones and more to find the source of the problem to find why your body is breaking down and so instead of focusing on just one thing at a time, like blood work does, I like to look at the big picture. I like to do four different tests. So I see the big picture of what's going on in your body. So I know what isn't working correctly and what we need to address first. So one of my favorite clients, Jai Paul, came to me with sleep issues. He was mainly waking up in the night and awake for hours. He's an architect, and so he didn't have the energy, the clarity, or the creativity he needed to perform his job because he was so exhausted from not sleeping. His lab tests showed that he had a parasite, he had H. pylori, he had a damaged gut, his estrogen was super high, his minerals were way out of balance, and he had many food sensitivities as well. So we worked on all of these things. I helped him change his diet. We got to the root of some of his... Uh, mental stress, and I recommended supplements to get him back in balance. And then he wrote six months later that a month in, I started to sleep much better. Two months in, I realized I had dropped 15 pounds of extra weight. I started waking up with more energy and found that I could get through a full day with focus and attention. Now I have regained the confidence, energy, and positivity that I always remembered throughout my life. This is what is possible for you too. If this is something you're struggling with, then I can help you figure out why, what is causing it so we can get to the root of it and fix it for good. Feel free to message me if you want to chat more about your sleep and how I can help or if you have any questions. Thanks for listening and I will see you in the group.